A few weeks ago, one of our movement members reached out to us and said, Chad, will you do a video training on Robert's rules of order? He said, my board absolutely will not follow the agenda properly. We end up talking about how they won't follow Robert's rules of orders. Well, I would have never thought to do this video, but as soon as we put it out, we had umpteen people say, thank goodness you did that. We needed that. So now we're going to make it available to the public if you buy it or rent it here. If your board struggles to really know how to follow an agenda. What's the right way to run, particularly a public meeting? Uh, do they need to know Robert's Rules of Order? In this video, we're going to get into the basics of Robert's Rules of Order, how it really protects, uh, protects the minority position's opinion. You know, it, it lets the people who aren't for something speak up as much as those who are and has a whole process to it so you can run your board meetings in a more orderly fashion. This may be one of those you want to buy and keep every year to use it in your orientation with your new New chairman or whoever the case may maybe you need to use it with your mayor we presented to the city council two or three weeks ago for a project for them and they went all kind of their commissioners were calling the mayor for not running it right and this and that and we're just sitting there looking at it so you may even want to share this with your elected officials